Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? <laughs> I'm not great at the keyboard skills. That's why I am learning how to play keyboard. And that's where this comes in. Welcome to Geek Tech Talk Live with Jeffrey Powers. How you doing? Uh, Jeffrey Powers from Geekazine. And today we're taking a look at the keyboard so you can learn how to play the keyboard, impress your friends, and have a lot of fun. Uh, uh, you can find me on socials that just passed by there. But of course, today we're taking a look at this keyboard right here. This is the one keyboard air that uh, I have. And, I, and, you know, as a musician, I try and play as many instruments as possible because I'm crazy that way. Just like the keyboard. And with that, I, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to learn how to play a little bit more than just uh, what are called uh, chord claw chords. Ha, 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 ha. So that's what we're doing. We're going to show you this keyboard. This is a learning keyboard. It is not going to be a professional keyboard. So uh, kind of professional, but it's meant to be in the corner of the house. It's meant for you to learn from it. If you use it to gig and you expect something different, it's not going to be that type of keyboard. And that's fine. You get it a more professional keyboard if you're out gigging. I have taken this out to gig. Don't, you know, don't worry about it. You can actually do that and uh, have a lot of fun with it. But uh, this is a perfect, uh, perfect keyboard for starting out and for learning stuff. Now, first of all, before we get into anything, I just want to let you know the one, that's the name of the company, the smart One Smart Piano, I believe is the full name. Anyway, they gave me, uh, they got me a keyboard to use, uh, and of course, uh, they have no input in what I, what I do, talking points or anything like that. All reviews, all opinions are my own. You can check out everything over at my review page and check it out. Make sure you know see what I do. All opinions are of myself and Geekazine and nobody else. None of the live channels, none of the none of the recorded stuff. That you know, that's just me just me. So if you have problems, come to me. If you got technical support, you should go to them. But you got problems with what I say, come to me and we'll talk about it. So, and be civil too. And of course, you can always follow, you can always like, you don't have to, but you know, here we are and, and just you hit the buttons and the little, you know, the little buttons that make things happen and, and and cool features happen. So, but anyway, let's get into this keyboard really quick. This is the one What it is, is a 61 key keyboard. It's not a full size keyboard, that's 88 keys, but it's, it's, it's enough to learn on. It's enough to do a bass and do a, uh, do a, do a uh, left hand, right hand, excuse me, and just have some fun with it. And uh, that's how that works. And, you know, if you've ever played the keyboard, you know, our, our piano, you know that it, 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 the response and, and all that is good stuff. You have, you have the keys, you have the black keys, you have the white keys, uh, you have different scales they can go for, like the C, C major scale, and then you have C minor scale, and then you have D. And so on and so forth. So you can get that. You can create chords like that. Uh, and of course, uh, dissident chords. And have a little bit of fun with it. But definitely, you can work up your chops, work up your ability to, to play um, an instrument. And of course, polyphony, being able to use your left and your right hand pretty well. Uh, and, uh, and just impress your friends. This is a 61 key keyboard. Nordic style design, ultra thin, portable at 8.3 pounds. Uh, it's uh, got Bluetooth connection. It's got iOS and Android phone support for a phone or tablet. And I'm going to show you how to do that. MIDI output and recording via USB cable. It doesn't have MIDI plugs. If you're a musician, you know what that is. But it goes through USB and it works perfect on, on things like the iPad, which is what I've got right here. Um, and uh, it's got mobile app setting. You can... As you can see, I can port this out. I can play this outright, or I can plug it into my uh, in my mixer, and I can uh, just uh, set up some stuff here. Let me just make sure something's not on there. There we go. Okay, perfect. 
Um, so you have many options on here, and it's more than just piano because you can you can do piano through the piano. You can then connect the app and change the sounds, or you can plug in the app and use other applications. We're going to use GarageBand because it's the easiest and, and, and go from there. We're also going to show you the learning section of this. And what that is, is these keys have one special feature to them. They light up and they have sheet music in here. They have games and videos and courses that you can follow along where the keys will light up and you just follow the keys. And then you, you get used to reading the music. You get used to seeing the keys. And then all of a sudden you're just doing... Whatever, whatever it is that you do, you know, for this, just to doing chords, or actually getting into something a little bit uh, uh, fancy with that and everything like that. So, let's get into here uh, and and check it out. First of all, I want to let you know. Hey, you know, you got. I don't know if you see this, but the Geekazine hoodie, it, it just showed up, and I'm really excited. The zip down hoodie. I'm I'm a fan of the hoodies. Uh, let me just switch over to that really quick. So it's the logo Geekazine. If you want to support Geekazine, definitely uh, get that. Uh, we got the link down there. You can check that out and uh, go from there. Let's get back to the piano here because that's what that that's what this is all about. It, I do have a what's called a sustain pedal, which is down at my feet, and that makes the the keys hold. So if I don't have the sustain pedal on, you hear that. But if I if I put it down. You got sustain. Uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is certain sustain pedals might not work with this keyboard. Uh, I had a, I have a more heavy style uh, pedal that didn't work, but I have, this is a Yamaha foot pedal. I'm not sure if the one has sustain pedals, uh, but definitely check that out. But if not, there's a Yamaha sustain pedal that you can get and it works perfectly from the one music group so this is all their stuff they have they have a lot of other pianos if you want to go professional they have stand-up uh pianos they have keyboards that uh, light up like this one they have this which is the one strip if you've already got a keyboard and you want to learn a little bit more basically what it does is little led lights that uh, you basically put that right on the top of the the keyboard where the uh the edge meets um right about let me switch let me show you. so right about here you'd put this strip like right there and it will then light up uh letting you know the keys the, the keys won't light up but this strip would light up telling you where to place your fingers what happens is we have this app called the one and with this app we'll go back here uh yeah with this one we can connect this via bluetooth to the keyboard it keeps wanting to fall down because of the case so hopefully this will stay right here um, the, uh, the Bluetooth connection, or we can do USB. We're going to do both as we go. So right now we need to connect it Bluetooth. So we're going to go to Bluetooth settings. We're going to go and choose that. Oh, uh, we have four options on the, uh, on, on your tablet or on your phone. Uh, you can do sheet music. You can do crash course of videos or games. We're going to go to sheet music and keep in mind, <clears throat> excuse me, all, everything that I'm going to be playing is in the dom free domain area, which means that, you know, uh, there is no royalties on there. So uh, n no copyrights, basically. So and a lot of this music is copyright free, especially the old classical music, because the composers composers have long since gone and uh, any copyrights mostly have, have come out now. You have you have many options. You can buy from the online store. You can do a, a bunch of you can learn how to solo. You can learn how to to do different things. We got some paid pop music. We got some festival. What's new? We're going to go to study. And this is where a lot of the free sheet music is. And the first one is La Larabesque. La Larabesque, I think it's called. <laughs> My French is horrible. Horrible. So basically, this is what happens. It comes in and it shows you this is the sheet music for that. Now, when you're connected up and the sheet music comes up, the first thing that you see, you can't see it right now because, of course, we're focused more on the sheet music than we are on the keyboard. Let's switch back to the keyboard. Now you can see LED lights. It's hard to see with this the studio lighting, but the LED lights are up here and down here. So you can see them better down here. But if I, there we go. I shade this a little bit. You can see this. This is where 
you play first. So these are the three chords, and it corresponds to the music. So you can look at the music, or you can uh, look at the lights, and you play it. And now it's advanced to the next chord, advanced to the next chord, and the next chord. And now we've got a key up here. There you go. That's gonna do. It's gonna do a run up and down. So, and if you haven't hit the keys, it will not progress further. So I can go like this. But until I hit all the lit keys, then it's t then it'll advance this to the next part. I'm gonna zoom in on the. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on the score so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh, so right now we're right here. And then we switch over here. You can play this to hear how it sounds. And you can play it at different speeds. We can slow it down. We can speed it up. And as you can see, you, know, you can't see that, but as you'll be able to see in about a second, the keys will light as it goes. Do the A, B section. We can flip that around. Uh, we can go back to the top. We can turn off the lighted part uh, so we can play, you know, uh, try and test our, our knowledge without playing. Uh, we can go full screen, of course. And then we can do left and right hand. So let's go back up to this first one here. So if I choose right hand, all it's going to do is it's going to set me up on the right hand so let's see let's uh let's start this out keyboard is lit so you can work on your your fingering like right now this is technically the wrong type of fingering i should have it like this and then and then as here i would i would go like this and then down here so you get the idea, but it, it'll, light, it'll light the way for you in many different ways. I can switch to the left hand, so I can just do the chords. As you can see, or bring them both together and then play from there. It's, it's always good to try one hand and then try the other, and then when you feel comfortable to bring it all together, you can do that and go from there. So uh, it's it's pretty straightforward on how to do that uh, as you go. And there's many different free songs that you can get that already come with the uh, with the app. You just basically have to sign in to the uh, to the service, and then uh, in app purchases, if you want to start playing some uh, more modern pop songs, if you get really good on a lot of the and we go into the settings. And this is where we do the Bluetooth connection, but we have the sound settings, and this is the key right here. So now we have the keyboard, we got the piano, but we wanna change something a little bit uh, different. We got uh, single voice, split voice, multiple voice, uh, split and multiple voice, and keyboard X. Keyboard X is what we'll press that will get rid of the keyboard sound and let this app deal with it. But right now, let's, let's take a look at this really quick. So we have split voice, so on the right hand, which is all the red, and they're showing you on the keyboard lit up right there that these are the two keys that split between the left hand and right hand. So we'll go back here. And with the right hand, it says both of them are acoustic grand right now. So let's do this. Let's, uh, let's do an electric piano for the first one. And then with the left one, we can go and let's do a guitar and bass. And we'll do a... Where is the bass? The jazz, jazz man bass. That sounds good. And of course, like I said, this the, the two lights are right there. So this will be the uh, the jazz the jazz man's the lower one, and then the next note will turn into the electric piano. So, 
And then you can have a little bit of fun with that. And as you can see, that's, that's what happened. You can do multiple voices. So you can have electric piano and acoustic grand, or you can turn that off. You could, let's see, uh, let's do flute, and we'll do an oboe. That's always fun. So electric piano and oboe. As you can see with multiple voices, you have split and multiple voices. So now you can do two voices split. So the, the left hand, once again, you still have these two keys as, as the split area. So on the right hand, we have electric piano and oboe. On the left hand, we just have jazz man. So we can go. And then uh, let's see, it's heavy. Uh, And to make sure that you don't cross over while you're doing the bass line. So <laughs> that's that's always fun. So you have those split and multiple voices. And now here we have keyboard X. And keyboard X, once again, all you have to do is hit this hit keyboard X on the corner. Hit this. And now your keyboard is gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. No. Well, don't worry about that because now the app is controlling the keyboard. Let's go back here. And we will go back, we'll go back to GarageBand. And we'll go back to this. And with, uh, with iOS, you have many different music options. I know there's some options with Android. I don't use too many Android tablets and phones. Uh, but you can also hook it up to a computer, a PC, or a Mac, and run some software like Ableton Live, like, uh, uh, let's see what other, uh, anything that has MIDI to it uh, that will allow a MIDI input. And now you can actually start writing music and bring it into whatever program so you can use it and just use this as a director. So this thing, it, you, you won't need to worry about the sounds here. You'll just have the, whatever sound you have on your programming app. And you can buy multiple programs uh, to make different sounds, whether, whether it be something, you know, a keyboard, whether it be drums, whether it be whatnot. So uh, let's see what else. So we could, we could do strings. We could go modern strings. And just have fun with it. We can record from here, and like I said, so we'll go into go to notes, and then we'll go into the song. Where so now we'll go back in here, and now we can record whatever song. All right, you can have a lot of fun with that. You can bring it, you could do drum, you could uh, come in here and we could add a layer and then bring, there we go, we'll bring the drums in. We'll bring in some, just simple. So you get you get that. Let's bring in another instrument. And bring in bass. No, we don't want that. We want the pick bass. We want notes. Thank you. 
right, so we got that in there. Now, as you can see, we've got we got a song going here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Bringing guitar. Oops. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, so we now I had the song. Not a great song, but you know, hey, we're, we're going on the fly here. We'll just leave it at that. But now I, I can use this in, in many different ways to get whatever sound I want to, and then come back here. We'll just close out a garage band. We'll go back to smart piano, and we'll go back to the sound settings, and we'll go back to single voice, and we'll. I think, yeah, we have to... Uh, oh, yeah, we have to turn off keyboard X. We'll go back to single voice. And we'll switch it back to acoustic grand piano. There we go. And there we are. There's no buttons, uh, except for the power button and the volume button. There are no buttons on this keyboard, so it doesn't confuse you at all. Everything is done through the app. Now, the, the only problem is once you disconnect the app... And you turn the piano off, you turn it back on, it goes back to its default state. So, other parts of this app, we have the crash course, we have the videos, and we have the games. Games are, are a little bit fun. Uh, we can learn how to play Yankee Doodle or Cannon or Ode to Joy. We'll, we'll go with the easy one, or easy, as easy as possible. And as you can see, line... It's got, you know, miss, 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 good, good. Yay! 817 scored higher than 50% of the users. So it, I guess it's also collecting data of the other, of uh, how people are playing it. And of course, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just... I'm trying to play it and talk to you at the same time, so I'm not gonna, I'm not going to have the highest score possible on that. And of course, you have different uh, levels of difficulty <clears throat> through the game, so you can just go through the different, uh, you know, itsy bitsy spider, elegantly torador song, green sleeves. A lot of these, once again, these are all royalty free type songs. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing eventually they'll get into some sort of uh, licensed songs that they get to use. Um, and of course, you can uh, you can buy packs to to learn from games even more. They have videos, tutorials on how to use it, just basic YouTube videos that will uh, will play as the app goes. And then the crash course will try and help you learn how to play as quick as possible. You can. Uh, Demo the song. You can start the song. Um, I don't know. Does that have... Uh, yeah, I don't think that... That might be a copyright issue, so we won't play that one. But anything, like I said, in a lot of the sheet music that you get here, this is all uh, free to use. You get in, like, for instance, Hey Jude, which is level two. Yeah, that's uh, that's copyright. And that's actually priced at three ninety nine. So you can have... A lot of fun. Adele's Hello, uh, Yerma River Flows in You, Ode to Joy, uh, Let It Go from Frozen, uh, Happy Birthday to You, which is traditional, and that should be absolutely free. Well, it should be copyright free, but, you know, you might have to pay for their version, so. Oops. And there was a time where this song was not... I would have had to pay like $10,000 just to even play that small little bit right there. But that's, that's all changed since then. So, uh, But anyway, you can, you can do Bluetooth. 
you can do direct USB connection. So you can have a lot of fun with it. You got these these cool apps on the uh, on the pad, which allow you to do whatever you need to do in in the piano here. Uh, you can then turn on the keyboard X option and then open up whatever favorite app you're having. Make your own music, uh, which you know if you're a, if you're a content creator like myself, making your own music. Not make you can't you can't sit there and. and play Adele's song and said, yeah, it's my version, so it's my copyright. No, it doesn't work that way. I've done little drum beats and bass lines and uh, made very simple songs, which I've used in my videos as background music, so I don't have to worry about copyright. So it's another great reason to learn how to play a piano, because if you're a content creator, you can make your own music. And, you know, there are content creators that are, th that are striving to find unique music that they can use as background music. So you can then put that online and you can set up, you know, tr trade or barter or give it to them for free. And then they'll have music for their background that they're not going to get dinged on. Uh, and, you know, maybe they'll, they'll give you a shout out or something like that. It, it, lots, of, lots of cool things you can do by learning how to play piano. Just like learning how to play guitar, learning how to play the drums, like learning how to play the, the didgeridoo, I don't care. Whatever instrument you want to play, you can play it. And that's what's really, really cool about this. Now, once again, it is, uh, it's right here. It's $199, and it, it's, it's a great 61-key keyboard to learn how to play because it shows you how to play keyboards. And, I mean, you can learn on your own. You can definitely do the, like I said, the claw method. And I do this a lot when I go out to jams. And that works. But eventually you're going to want to uh, jazz it up a little bit, like... Or something like that. And that's, where, that's what this is going to teach you. It's going to help you get that going so um i've taken it out actually to events uh and played some keyboards on it and i, I do have to it, it's got the keys are nice this does have a good weighting to it and that's a that's an important key no pun intended when you're learning how to play piano uh a keyboard that will respond and take a little bit you need to put down a little pr bit of pressure so you can uh, you can really get that sound going, and then the the response the 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 spring back uh, coming back up actually works really well. As you can see, there's a little felt in the back here, and that felt's really nice because then it doesn't uh, it doesn't reverberate onto the plastic or anything like that. So it helps mute any external sounds and go from there. So far, everything that I've played, uh, it's it. It does a great job. It does a great job. A couple of small little things, like for instance, uh, if you have this set up and you're playing from the app, you don't do the keyboard X, you can still hear the keyboard sound through the through the one keyboard. And the other thing is the when you turn it off, it forgets uh, the settings, and you have to go back to the settings. It'd be nice even if the app had a hey, this is my this is my piano uh, uh, idea. This is my split keyboard idea where I had the flute you know, with the piano or something like that. That'd be nice. That's actually, you could, they could change that with the app. So they could take that suggestion and run with it. And the next version of the app, there, all of a sudden you have buttons where it says, this is my instant quick keyboard change right there. It, it has a little bit of sound noise on the, uh, on there. So, but I have played this out where we have plugged this into the PA. I haven't heard the noise, so there might be something with the uh, sound system, you know, uh, hooking back and forth. I'll have to double check on that. So playing it out, we, we, we played some, a lot of great music. And the piano sound in, you know, just a regular band or something like that, it sounds decent. Um, it's not going to be spectacular by any means, but it's, it has the sounds. It's using sound samples, and I'm not sure where those sound samples are coming from. All right, well, I don't think I can say anything more about this because that's pretty much it. This is the one keyboard, uh, keyboard air that you can get, uh, and it hooks up. It teaches you how to play uh, piano, how to play keyboards by using a lighted system in the keys. 
And that's the other reason why these keys are feel a little bit plastic is because they got to be hollower so those LED lights can shine through. And uh, it, it, it great, but great response time otherwise. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, you've been watching Geek Tech Talk Live with Jeffrey Powers. Feel free to comment, ask your questions as we go. And, of course, you can find me on all the socials and, of course, my website as well. And uh, check out uh, anything that, uh, if you have any questions, if you have any comments, and go from there. So thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out, and we'll see you next time. I messed that up already.